This is Imani with Build Brothers. Started my digital inspection. We're at 2162 Riviera Drive. And we always like to start underneath the eaves just to see the condition of the wood. And we see a severely rotted out rafter tail right here. Um, we are seeing signs of rotted wood around the perimeter underneath these eaves. That's just what stuck out, stood out to me. Moving on though. What we have here is a flat concrete tile roof. And the owner has been experiencing multiple leaks um, over the past two years. So what I went ahead and did is actually move a couple tiles just to see that condition of that underlayment. You can see a little bit of water staining on this portion right here. And this is actually where the owner has actually put a tarp. That's what these tiles are here for. Um, the tarp has been removed, but we can see the condition of this underlayment. And this is absolutely dust. You can see starting to crumble underneath my fingertips. Water has been getting under there for quite some time. You can see around the penetrations as well. The mastic is completely eroded away. Now, same thing up here, looking at this fell paper, this is water stained as well. And we have a couple cracked tiles here and there. But look at that. This is completely eroded away as well. Now I went ahead and pulled a couple of tiles here or actually slipped. You can see that underlayment, that fill paper was severely rotten. And then you see this, this one looks at a little more recent. Um, so not as bad as over there, um, but here's another concern. This, you see how that is starting to dip? That plywood is actually completely rotted out. So when it begins to soak up that water for years and years, that material starts to bend and shrink. So again, we're seeing a little bit of water staining as well. Um, but again, these penetrations, these are completely open. So anytime it rains, that water is having an opportunity to go straight down to the wood decking. Again, we see this around this heat vent and these ridge caps. So these mortar caps are completely broken. And you can see if I lift this up a little bit, you can see that water has straight access down to the wood. this tile again not as bad as on this side but what I figured out is that water is completely missing that underlayment and going straight down to the wood decking which is why we are having severe wood damage on that plywood rather than on the underlayment because again that water is going completely and straight down into that wood decking um, and soaking up the wood so on a new roofing project, what we would do is actually get that 40 pound felt underlayment and wrap it up and over the wooden piece on the ridge cap. And I scooted this one down just to see what the underlayment is looking like. And again, we see cracking on the ridge caps, the mortar. Um, so there's a lot of evidence that water has been getting up and under down to the wood decking for some time. Um, in my professional recommendation, we would recommend a full lift and reset. Assuming that this is the original roof, this house was built in the 90s, and it's definitely time for a updated underlayment, see more cracked ridge caps as well. So water has been getting up and under the, down into the wood decking for some time. So again, what we want to do is completely lift and update that underlayment 
and address any rotten wood that needs to get replaced. That gets done on a discovery basis. Now we can't determine the amount of wood that needs to get replaced until this old material is actually lifted off. We do know that these two spots are definitely gonna need to get new plywood um, and a couple pieces up and underneath the eaves. <sighs> So I will get this out to the homeowner and go over options. Thank you.